the weekly delivery of cooked food to Belize City's neediest elderly or incapacitated happened today as was planned for the folks who run HelpAge Belize. But they went looking for new needs that have arisen because of Hurricane Lisa. Neville Mejia is not an older person, but he falls on the list because he is constrained by a medical condition. The former mechanic now relies on whatever help he can get, and he shared his hurricane woes with us. The fences may get blown down, and you can look up on the ceiling there, yeah. you see that you have water, you water damage happening there, but more than likely that that will happen, you never plan to for that. It's my situation, I don't have any control over it. I have an neuromuscular condition named limb girdle myopathy syndrome. Which is what in layman's terms? It's a mild form of um, muscular dystrophy. You know, so it affects the limbs there. Over on the north side, Glenford Gordon is able to sit up, but also has mobility issues and suffered quite a bit of damage in last week's hurricane. Um, the site was to go to shelter, but the weather um, come and trap me here. And the kitchen blow off, the, and in the in the hall, in the room they have uh, two two zinc blow off. In the other room they have another zinc wrapped up there, and it leaked. So wet, you suffered up, some uh, damage. Wet up my mattress and anything there. Yes, yeah, mom. And clothing. Yes, mom. Okay, so you need some assistance. Yes, mom. And that is just what HelpAge intends to get for these people. The organization's executive director, Ivorine Bulwer, told News 5 that they will take the needs to various agencies and lobby for assistance for persons who fall within this category. Observing this situation, we will be able to make referrals because if you look around here, help is certainly needed. And so to us, uh, the bathroom, the stairs, um, you know, his mattress. Uh, Chloe needs clothing. Um, he needs some grocery bags. So we, we have the opportunity to really observe the damages, the impact of Hurricane Lisa on this already challenging environment. You know? Okay, so who do you make those referrals to? Uh, we work in close collaboration with the Ministry of Human Development. We also work closely with the National Council of Aging. Um, there is NEMO. And there are other entities that we work with individuals and international organizations. Bulwer said that altogether, they would visit 40 persons and assess their needs based on the hurricane damages they endured and look for help for them. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.